Welcome, Sonic State, to our booth in Simplex uh, 2022. Thank you for traveling all the way to LA. <laughs> Just to take a look on a uh, couple of um, instruments we are displaying here. One is Parkwans, one of our uh, hottest developments lately, and it has been covered uh, all across media and people are starting uh, receiving it and um, and playing it and uh, Sonic State did uh, in-house demo on this as well but uh, to honor Sonic State <laughs> watchers so I will I will do uh, do like quick recap on uh, on what it is and yeah. uh, and uh, what it is capable of like bringing to some extreme limits so the thing is that uh, Erica Synth originated as a modular synthesizer company and we have like plenty of uh, modules like uh, over 100 different ones in different series but uh, when we started developing standalone instruments we realized that uh, in standalone instrument you can really put uh, like complete idea how the instrument should look like and how it uh, should uh, how a musician, how the musician can interact with the instrument, uh, so it's kind of in a better way re reveals what uh, what uh, developers wanted to say with the instrument. So with the Perkins, we wanted to develop uh, an ultimate uh, performance drum machine, which uh, has the best uh, interaction because between instrument and musician. So. Essentially, it's four-voice drum machine with, uh, and with what sets it apart is uh, a sequencer which sequences simultaneously all four voices. So you do not need to do any menu diving to access, uh, access uh, the uh, controls of the uh, instrument. All your, all your sequencing lanes and everything's right there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, on the surface, it's a 16-step sequencer, but you can uh, chain patterns for longer, uh, for longer sequences, and uh, and just yeah, enter steps uh, on a fly, and uh, you see what actually you are uh, doing in all of the voices. So that is what uh, sets Park ones apart, and that is what makes uh, it fun to play and uh, what makes it uh, very gratifying to play for play for a musician yeah so show, we, can you show a little yeah, bit of absolutely. that absolutely so if, if we just start so i'm starting with um with a kick drum other voices are muted so we have several controls for each voice age controls plus uh three switches which uh, select modes so that was kick drum uh, engage voices go to built-in effects unit and uh, also also you can uh, use uh, individual effects uh, units on each voice because the machine has extensive connectivity so each voice has trigger input individual output so you can process all voices separately in a uh, in, uh, external mixer and uh, send return for regular quarter inch jacks for use in, uh, with FX pedals.
So it sounds great too. Um, that was <laughs> briefly on Perkins, and the the beauty that uh, people here who have not ever touched uh, in, uh, Perkins uh, come to our booth and like instantly get uh, such a great uh, sounds and uh, and um, patterns out of it. You know, it's uh, it's really enjoyable. You know? Yeah, yeah. And then you got something else too. Yeah, and next thing is. Um, is uh, Syntrax, Syntrax 2. We had Syntrax 1, uh, uh, which has been uh, out uh, already for a while, like uh, one and a half years. And uh, as we initially considered, that was a limited run of uh, 1,050 units. Uh, that was instrument to honor uh, Peter Zinoviev, uh, an original uh, uh, Sinti AKS developer, and he's got one like first one and uh, made a, a video of it and uh, was like highly impressed about uh, how his instrument would look like in uh, 21st century. So Syntrax essentially is a synthesizer for uh, people who think non-linearly <laughs> because this one actually is kind of something like modular synthesizer because it does not have any preset connections between um, synthesizer parts. Any, um, almost, uh, I wouldn't say any, but almost any uh, synthesizer comes with a, with a uh, signal flow which is uh, intended by a creator if it, or developer. If it. So in this case uh, we have a patch matrix where you can build uh, your own patches uh, and uh, connect uh, any part of synthesizer according to your um, needs or according to your uh, beautiful accidents <laughs> you have during the process of working with it. And uh, we have here uh, in Simplex quite few uh, users who have uh, musicians who have uh, original Synthi AKS and. Uh, yeah, what what they do? They just come up with con completely unconventional patches, like this one. <laughs> so it's Halloween these days, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we just produced. Uh, <laughs> A great soundtrack for another Halloween movie. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, talking about uh, people ask, you know, what are major differences between uh, uh, Syntrax 1 and Syntrax 2? So differences are really major because this is like completely different instrument. Uh, we put more attention to uh, input, um, like, idea behind uh, inputs, so first input, uh, so you can interface it with uh, external instruments. First in input comes with the uh, envelope uh, follower and uh, you can extract envelopes from another other instrument. Second one comes with inverter. Oscillators have a uh, voltage control over wave shape, uh, which can be selected which wave shape you actually are, uh, are altering. Uh, Octave switches for more accurate tuning if you want to play uh, Syntrax in tune. Uh, filter, high pass, low pass filter in series. And here again, you can select what type of filter you are uh, altering. Uh, very great sounding effects is we developed together with 112 uh, Dutch company, 112 decibel. And um, there are a couple of hidden features I'm about to show you. So beauty of um, beauty of um, digital patch, patch, patch matrix. It's analog patch matrix with digital control. So what you see here is uh, patch points on, uh, on module connection. So this is quite random one. Um, I will recall some, um, some preset I've developed. So this one, for instance. So there are some uh, nice hidden features. For instance, uh, uh, gate. which can be recorded. Likewise, joystick can be recorded. Uh, 
and then behind the hood we find uh, a piano roll like sequencer this particular patch has just one note in the sequencer but I uh, have like specific intention why so if I start a sequencer uh, so it has um, I need to switch to internal clock because clock can be internal or external one so this is an only single note playing but when we advance to next layer of sequencer this is another modulation sequence which is assigned to x axis of joystick in my case that controls uh, filter cutoff so as you see as you see we can make uh, stepped modulations uh, in uh, tune with the sequencer another layer of sequencer is assigned to Y axis of, uh, of uh, joystick and uh, in this one it controls uh, wave shape of the oscillator and now both How many, of the, how many of those can you apply? How, how many uh, um, uh, sequences are uh, saved together with a patch? So as you can save uh, 254 se uh, patches, then uh, likewise you can save uh, 254 sequencer settings. Uh, sequencer itself goes to one volt per octave uh, tuning of uh, oscillators, but... Uh, but uh, X and Y joystick assignments, they can you can uh, assign them to any of uh, parameter you want to modulate, and um, so this kind of sets uh, uh, sets the synt um, syntax apart. Also, you can use syntax as um, external um, effects processor for uh, say drum machines because instead of uh, using it uh, like a, a synthesizer on itself just uh, patch uh, some external synthesizer or drum machine to input one. Let's say you can extract gate, modulate filter, and use uh, FXs for, um, for uh, external signal processing. FXs has reverb and delay. FXs has uh, reverb and delay, and uh, it, uh, it can... Uh, work in several modes uh, with a regular tape delay and a BBD delay uh, emulation as well. So uh, how many how many yep. input it has two? Excuse me? Two two inputs? Yeah, it has two inputs. Uh, one is with envelope for and one is with um, with inversion. So with in inversion option you actually can make stereo panning because uh, because uh, can invert any CV via this input and uh, do punning if you wish and so on. And uh, my favorite feature is if the user completely runs out of inspiration, there is random patch randomization function. Mm. So you just randomize patches and hope to come <laughs> up with something. <laughs> so these are completely random patches which I just generated and then once you're happy with something that comes out there you can just uh, adjust patch and design something uh <laughs> so <laughs> you know nice and easy you know it's I must say uh, Syndrax 2 is uh, the inspiration machine <laughs> and we plan to get it uh, to the market by end of this year follow our announcements and uh, thank you Sonic State for visiting us here in LA yeah thank you and pricing on the I know the ones available already yeah, but this is pretty much same price it will be uh, 1800 euros and um, yeah so slightly slightly less expensive like uh, the first one but uh, this has uh, less uh, mechanical components therefore we 
could afford to make it uh, like more affordable. Let's put yeah. it that way. Great. Um, thank you. Thank you.